Hi, this is John. I'm at home on Long Island. It's Friday. Big drummer auditions are Monday, so just in a few days. A couple of these guys I know. Uh, I've, I've met before, and a few of them I don't know. I know Mike Mangini. I've met him before, and uh, I, I think he's amazing. Good morning. It is Friday. My audition's on Monday. Um, all right, I got Alec off to school. My wife's taking care of as much as she can today so I can stay up here because I don't have to go into to the college today. Let me get going. This is so much material. There's so much to memorize. <clears throat> There's a lot of work has to be done. <laughs> Good morning. I think a new drummer is going to have to be somebody that really understands what our music is about, somebody that fits in personally, somebody that's extremely uh, talented as far as technique, but also has a great feel and a great musicality and sensitivity. You know, when Jordan and, and John go, I want to be able to go and follow them pretty much spot on. Ah, I didn't get that little thing. I found what I was missing in the fill before the solo section. I didn't put the diggada in there the second time. Uh oh, she's going fast. Hey, I got an audition. Don't hit me. I'm just going through my checklist, travel documents block forms for a lot of their tunes. There's, there's work to be done. I'm just really excited. I want to be in this band. It's again, it's not a gig to me. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that word. Um, no, no. But you have, your soul has to be in there. I mean, every little hit. Okay, time to go. trip to New York uh, today because my audition with Dream Theater is tomorrow. I received an email from the management uh, saying that the band had interest in me auditioning for them. The stuff that they write, I feel, comes out of me anyway as a composer or a drummer. Number one, I'd have one job to do, which I could focus on. And number two, I'd be really happy. It seems to just work. The idea, anyway, I hope I get it. So, uh, here I am in the room. This is important. I have to Skype in my family. That will be my workstation. Here is some stuff. No, I better get some. I don't have many clothes in here. I've got all that equipment and just one pair of underwear for three days. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, this goes here. Better get the stuff in order. Okay, um, that's it. I'm gonna be able to find a place that has some meat on a stick and some football and maybe maybe a beer. I have one. This certainly isn't a trip to uh, go out and have more than that. It's too important. So that's that. Okay. Bye. after nine in the morning. I guess I'm getting a late start because I wanted to be there at 10, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Anyway, it's drummer day. We've got to go in and set up and get ready for the first drummer, who I think is the um, master, Mike Mangini. The drummer is everything in a band right, when it comes to just the pocket and the power. And here we are today, starting a new chapter. Ready for this or what? Uh, I'm almost ready. And then we'll go through the songs, we're thinking Nightmare. 
we thought it would be cool to, to just like, you know, see how their creative minds work. Maddie, how are you, sir? How are you? Good to see you. Are you good? Okay. You sure? Ah, look who it is. Here we go. This is Mangini. What's going on, man? Nice to see you. Absolutely. What's up, Mike? Yeah, man. How are you? Everybody knows Mike Mangini, right? Yeah. Mike actually played on three of my solo albums. He's just an exceptional drummer. He has a, a reputation around the world for being an incredible player. He's actually, when, when this all went down, he was like one of the first names that came, you know, was on everybody's mind. Welcome, you're the first victim. <laughs> right? <laughs> you get it started out on the yeah. right vibe? Absolutely. Cool. I actually remember during one of our shows, Mike Mangini doing a solo with Mike Portnoy in the same set during a Dream Theater show. I knew he played in Extreme, I knew he played on James's stuff. And that night when I saw him play, I was like, who the hell is this guy? It's like ridiculous. If you're open to it, we, we want to do a couple of things. Maybe do a little bit of jamming. Okay, that sounds fun. The jam I thought was, was killer. It reminded me of jams that we'd have yeah, you know, right, all right. the time. That's important because that's, that's musical chemistry. The jamming was like putting pieces in a puzzle. And for me, it was just happy, it was calming. I, I clearly understood what they were doing, not just the pattern, but with the tone, with the musicality, with the, the energy and all that. It just, it, the equation just hit me. It just felt great. The way that we write music a lot is we'll do group, we'll do jams like that for like 40 minutes straight, and out of those jams, there'll be like these seeds and of ideas. Like if anybody listens to these things with these other drummers, you'll hear melodies flying by, little riffs, little feels, and those could be seeds to songs. So that's very important to us ultimately in the creative process. I loved it and noticed right away too. He has great eye contact. There was a total communication going on. You know, when you're playing together, there's there's either like where you're you're connected and you're you're making something that's bigger than your individual parts, or you're not, or you're disconnected. And and Mike has a this great way of just eye contact, connecting with everybody. Like you said, listening.
has like an incredible sense of power. God, it's just, you know, he's able to put his whole being into performance. It's awesome. It just makes you feel like, wow, that's a lot of energy, you know. has a, a great musicality to him. Like he can sense where music's going, what it's trying to um, exude at that particular point within the song, and he just naturally gravitates to that. It's, it's not necessarily well. something you have to explain to him. He just falls right into it. He's at a one-of-a-kind level. It's just guys just don't play like that. Right, right. He's so technically advanced as a drummer. I mean, he could do things with one limb that people can't do with two, you know?
of your audition with us. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, when, jo when Jordan auditioned for us, it, we were just like completely blown away. I remember just leaving like, what the hell? Where did this guy come from? And it was the same feeling, where, you know. He just, he freaking nailed everything. Not, I mean, first of all, his personality just comes off as he's just a really nice person. He seems fun and he seems like interesting, like complicated. He has all these different things right. that he's into right. and stuff. Yeah. And uh, preparedness wise, he just played Oh, through the songs. didn't make any mistakes. Not yeah, one. We, we literally could have played a show tonight without rehearsing and went on stage yeah, and played totally. with him. Yeah. It was absolutely ridiculous was what he did. A lot of drummers that can come in and play the songs. It's one thing to play a song, but do they understand musically what's going on? Take this with a pain. <laughs> that was great. I think having Mike Mangini with his level of skill is just going to take that to a whole nother level. Yeah, right. Just say it, guys. Please say it. Please just say it. Don't put me through this. What, hello? Hey Mike, what's going on? It's John. Hey Mike, how are you? It's James. Hey Mike. Oh, Jordan here. Hello, hello. Hey Mike, it's JN. My hands are shaking. Obviously this is one of the most uh, important decisions of our career and uh, sorry to have uh, made you wait as long as, uh, as you have been, and I'm sure it's been extremely stressful. But nonetheless, we have some news for you, and we'd like to, at this point, welcome you to the family. <laughs> I have my dream theater hat like I just went first in the NFL draft. The day that I got the phone call, to be in Dream Theater 
It took my brain a minute to just assemble what was going on. And, and, and when it sank in, the feeling was just of tremendous relief. I, I'm like, just the feeling, I mean, I, I, A, cannot thank you enough. Just a minute. Wow. He was just ecstatic. He was so happy. It means so much to me. I almost felt like crying a couple of times, and I just, I didn't know what to do. But thank you for trusting me with the second half of your careers and lives. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you. Here is everyone, the one, the only, Mike Mangini! Our experience with Mike in the studio was tremendous and the album came out just, just as we had hoped. The fans in all the countries have just welcomed him incredibly. Hey Mikey, congratulations man. Thank you. The guys made me feel comfortable smiling. It just couldn't have been a better time. So I'm just thrilled. It's really amazing at this point in our career to find somebody that you can have that kind of musical and personal chemistry with.